All right, so today we're here at South Lake Park. We're coming here to do our visual and chemical tests that we do every week at all our lakes. Today we're looking for harmful algal blooms and specifically cyanobacteria. Harmful algal blooms occur when we have nutrient pollution coming from over fertilized lawns, from pet waste, from geese, and from mismanagement of lawns and gardens. When nutrients like phosphorus, potassium, and nitrates get in such a high concentration in our bodies of water, they create conditions that are perfect for harmful algal blooms, which pose a risk to residents and their pets. Okay, so now we're gonna take a jar test of the water you see here at South Lake to determine if this is in fact harmful cyanobacteria or a harmless algae that also occurs here. So now that we've taken our jar sample, we're gonna let this sample rest for about 24 hours. And if the algae floats to the top, we know that it is harmful cyanobacteria. And if it does not float to the top, but sinks to the bottom, it's probably a harmless type of algae. So when you're visiting South Lake or any of the city lakes, if you see a sign like this, be warned, there could be a potentially harmful uh, algal bloom present. These algal blooms are toxic to humans and to pets, so don't let your pets drink the water, swim in the water, and if you fish, make sure to wash your hands. 